Hi guys, um, this is my first um, editing tutorial. So, uh, before I start, I just want want you guys to know that there's no right or wrong way of editing. I'm just showing you how I edit my photos, the the process I go through to edit all my photos. Um, actually not all, just specifically this particular photo. I have different editing styles for portraits, but that will be on another video. So, firstly, before you guys start, you need um to act first have the Visco Film Zero Zero. I think that was the first film preset that Visco released, and it, it was free actually. You can either download it or buy it. It's really, uh, I don't know how you guys get it. Just you guys gonna need that later. Okay, so firstly, um, for this photo, this photo is, I took it a bit dark, so I'm gonna increase the exposure like so. And I'm I usually bump up the contrast by ten. And clarity by 10, vibrance by 10, saturation by 10. I like my photos to be a bit more colorful. <clears throat> so, for the whites and blacks, it's pretty standard for most of my, my photos. I don't usually change this a lot, so it's usually minus 45, plus 15. And for this particular photo, because there's a lot of lights here, I will bring down all the highlights so I can get all the detail surrounding the light. And I usually bump up the shadows to plus 50. Sometimes it's plus 30, plus 50, depending on the photo. And for this picture, I, I don't like my photos to be very warm, so I will move it more to the blue side to make it more cooler and a bit of tint a purple tint to yeah, yeah I think I that okay what is done I go to camera calibration I'll usually do something like this this is after editing a lot of photos um, I found out that this is actually the best um, calibration for my camera well, uh, you guys could also use this area to change color drastically look at this this is just by moving this hue color thing yeah but don't get too crazy on that so once that is done I'll go to effects I like my photos to have a bit of uh, vignetting and it's usually around minus 20 this is where you add green also if you guys don't know um, currently I don't like adding green to my photos so then once that is done you guys go to lens correction and take this too um, currently I'm using a manual uh, lens so it can actually Lightroom can't recognize my profile uh, but you guys gonna have to do this this chromatic aberration uh, this is when sometimes the lens can't really um, focus properly so the, the colors are a bit weird so you just take those two um, for detailing I usually go not uh, around 70 okay this masking tool while you are clicking here um, you press alternate and shift key on your keyboard and slide this masking tool until you just want to focus on the like what's important you know you don't want to focus on everything so 
like right now I'm just I want to focus on the lines, the different lines. So it's probably around six, yeah, sixteen. Then luminance. Um. Uh, if you took the photo in a very high ISO, there's gonna be a lot of noise. So if you wanna decrease the noise, you have to like move the slider for luminance up, so it will be very clean, very smooth. You see, it's before that it was a bit noisy and I don't go more than 50 because you will lose a lot of detail there I will bump up contrast to 50 too and color to 50 so that's that's what I will do on, under the detail section once that is done um, I'll go to tone curve this is where you would need a uh, visco film 00, zero. So on the point curve, this drop down list, I will use the goal, Kodak goal 100 roughness plus. See how that dramatically changes how the photo looks like. So it looks a bit dark right now. And when this happens, I usually move up the shadows because it was really a bit too dark for me. Okay, so um, once that is done, I'll go to HSL, the HSL part. First thing I'll do, I'll go to Hue. Okay, this is just my preference. I don't like the metallic surfaces to look too bluish. I want it to be really... I want it to have this greyish kind of tone to it. So um, usually I'll go to blue and I'll go to minus 30. It becomes a bit aqua blue. Then under aqua blue, I'll move it down to plus 100. I don't know if you guys saw that effect, but it becomes more nicer, <clears throat> in my opinion. After that, now it looks a bit bluish, right? So the blue I will turn it down. This is under saturation here. So blue I will turn it down to around 70. So right now I've decided that I only want grey and orange to be the only colors on this photo. So it looks more striking, you see. So I'll just zero out all the other colors. Like you see there's this green patch here which I don't want. I'll bring it down. I'll bring green down so green won't be so obvious now. I'll bring this a bit of aqua color here. Yeah? So I'll bring aqua down too. See now it becomes grey. And I don't quite like this color orange so under hue, you go to hue, this orange, you can actually change it to another color of your choice. In my case, it's red. So you can change this color. Change it to red. So um, there's also yellow here, so you can also change that. Do you, do you see that? Okay. Like, it was a bit orangey, now it's pure. It's red, like the ceiling. Okay, that's... Yeah, so that's pretty much... Oh wait, one more thing. I'll add a radial filter too. So once I click on the radial filter button, I'll press control on the keyboard and double click in the middle. And it'll form this circle around the photo. What this radio filter does is, is another form of uh, vignetting. So that, you know all the corners are darker than the center. So like, um, people can focus on the 
the subject better, like the ceiling right now. The for this particular photo, the subject is the ceiling, so I want people to focus on the ceiling. So press done. Now it looks more obvious, right? Yeah, so that's pretty much how I would edit this photo. So now let's see how it was before. This is before. This is after. So stay tuned to my um, other tutorial videos. This is only the first one. There will be more. So thanks for watching and share the video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.